Hello, it's Wednesday. Um, it's going to be a short one today, as I took some time off this weekend to play video games, because I haven't done that in ages. Here is an orc boy. You may have seen the trailer on this channel for this guy, because apparently I make trailers for my, my uh, painting tutorials now. But also I just wanted to have some fun and make something cool. This took me about two and a little bit hours to paint. I'm not counting the base. Base didn't take very long. I'm not counting the base in the uh, painting time. But the actual orc took me about two and a bit hours. This is important because if you're painting an orc army, you want to paint a lot of these. So I'm giving you a context right up front of how long this took to paint. About two and a half hours. If I was doing this in a batch of, say, ten boys, the time per model to this standard would probably be about two hours on average. Um, if you skipped all of the edge highlighting, it would probably be only about an hour and 20 minutes. So, that's up there. I finished that this weekend. I didn't spend much time painting it. Probably looks like I did, but I didn't actually spend much time painting it at all. The video for this is already on Patreon. Patrons have been able to watch this for uh, two days now, in fact. So you can go and check this out right now. Um, there'll be a link in the doobly-doo down below. So this is my Bad Moon Talk boy. I painted him this weekend. He's going over there in the background. What else did I paint this weekend? Well, I only really painted one other thing. Uh, if you see my Instagram, you've probably seen it. I painted this guy's coat. So this is the Primaris Psyker that I'm painting up for that Imperial Guard army. I figured since his coat is such a massive part of the model, it's like the entire back of the model basically, I should spend a little bit of uh, extra time on it because it's more noticeable than any other bit of him. And while the rest of the army is only painted to tabletop standard, the two HQs that I'm painting now are going to be painted to, I don't know, tabletop plus. Um, I'm spending about four hours, four, and a half, four to five hours on each of the HQs that I'm painting now. I didn't spend that long painting the one HQ that's already with it, which is just a commander, because um, I kind of speed painted the entire infantry section of that army because, you know, painting, what is it, 40 plus infantry models? I think I did them all in about a week. So, yeah, they're not painted as well as these guys, but these guys will be more than making up for it, I think. And also, these guys will be used in any Imperial Guard army, not just the one I'm selling. So, yes, the recipe for this coat and the methods that I used, because for it was relatively weird and convoluted, the recipes for that is on my Patreon. I'm not going to go into it in detail here. But if you want to see that, you can join my Patreon and you'll get access to the colour guide and recipe of how I painted this. It's not a video, it's just written down, and that will seek me nicely into my next bit of update. My patron rewards have changed on my Patreon. So, one of the reward tiers is gone, the one that no one used, which was a uh, display standard, the display tier. That's gone, that was the $20 tier, doesn't exist anymore. And everything else has changed, apart from the $1 tier. The $1 tier is exactly the same, so Primed, for was its name, is still the same as it was before. For $1, you get to vote on what video I paint. What video I paint next, you can't paint a video. What model I paint in each month for the tutorials. That hasn't changed at all. You also get access to Patreon-only posts, but generally speaking, at the $1 price point, there isn't that many of them. Mostly, you get to vote. For $5, uh, known as tabletop, no, base-coated, $5 is base-coated, you get um, early access, ad-free, to my painting tutorials. So it's up to a week of, ad of access to the painting tutorials before they go live on YouTube without any ads running on them whatsoever. You also get your name in the credits, although if you don't want that, you can message me and I'll take your name out of the list. 
some people have already taken advantage of that particular feature. Uh, you get your name in the credits of any video that is created during the month that you are actually sponsoring me. And that's pretty much it. So nothing's really changed there apart from you get your name in the credits of the video and yeah, I thank you and so on. At $10, which is tabletop, you get all of that stuff and you now get access to the written color guides that I do. Now, the color guides I write basically as I paint something. So I'll finish painting something, I'll write the color guide, and then I will post work in progress pictures to my Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all my other social medias. And if you wanna know how I painted the thing that I've just posted, I guarantee there will be a color guide on my Patreon for it. Now the color guides are just written down they're not even necessarily step-by-step -step pictures, um, so they require a little bit of knowledge and intuition on how to actually use them properly, but I tell you what equipment I used, how I used it, and what colours I used to get the effects that I did. So this guy's already got a colour guide on him, even though he's never going to get a video painting tutorial. So this coat, if you want to know how to paint this brown leather coat, colour guide's already available. And this will be the case for everything I paint going forwards. <clears throat> so this guy's getting a, a video. He's also got a color guide on there for everything on him apart from his skin and a color guide just for his skin. Those went up there, about a, the skin one went up there about a week before I actually posted the video for patrons. The color guide for the boys um, clothes went up there, I think the day before I edited the video or so when I finished the, painting the model and posted the pictures on it on Instagram of the finished model. The color guide was already up for every, everything else on this model. And then after I finished editing the video, the bit, it, that went up for early access to patrons ad free. And then a week after that, it's gonna to come to YouTube. So you can get stuff up to two, three weeks early and some stuff that I will never even do a video on, such as this guy's coat and a bunch of other things, like literally everything that I paint from this point forwards, if it's not already got some kind of color guide on Patreon, then it's going to get one. And it'll usually be split up into oh, whatever I happen to be doing. So it'll be split up more into per feature rather than per model. So for example, how to paint a brown leather duster, which is what this guy's one is, or other things that I can't think of off the top of my head. Um, so for another example, when I get round to painting some more of these guys, maybe later this month, maybe on Halloween, I will paint some more of these guys in my spare time. Because by that point, you know, October should be over, right? It won't be. Um, these guys' painting colour guides will go up probably a full month before their video actually will go up. So there's that, because I will be painting the test models for these, doing the color guides based on the test models, but I may not actually even record the on-camera model for a week or two weeks until after I've actually done that. So if you want to get earliest access, the, er the earliest access, you need to get on the color guides. But that's not all. And wait, there's more. The top tier on Patreon, there's only two slots available for this at the moment. It's called Pro Painted. Um, and for $50 a month, you get an hour of private tuition with me, Rob Paints Models, over whatever internet chat medium you prefer. So Skype, Discord, Google Hangouts, uh, two cups and a piece of string, whatever. Um, and we will talk for an hour and if you have a webcam um, set up, then you can stream your video footage to me of you painting something or asking questions about something specific. Whatever you want to talk about, we can talk about with regards to painting and helping you improve. So it's $50, there's two slots at the moment. Um, I don't know how many of these I can actually pull off at the moment because I don't know how much it's going to really impact on my schedule. But at the moment, yeah, two slots, pro painted, private tuition with me. I will talk you through any question you want to know, but probably not non-metallic metal because I don't really paint that very much. 
so I'm not the best source on that. But if you want to know anything else, airbrush stuff, any other technique stuff, um, color theory stuff, composition stuff, basing stuff, anything you want to know, that's the place to do it. If you just want you know, to learn basics with one-on-one -on -one tuition, also good. Whatever you want, you set, you set the agenda, and we set a time, and we chat for an hour and do some teaching. So that's what the Patreons are now. So there we go. That's what you get. Um, there'll be a link in the doobly-doof to Patreon, where you can go and check out all of this stuff. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to be painting this guy a bit more this week. I've also got my Orc Kill Team. Um, they're all primed up. Ready to do the next set of airbrushing base coats on everything. I've got, uh, you know, some some of the arms got wild flesh sprayed on them because I had some left after doing this boy here. But I have to get set up in the right mindset to batch paint a whole bunch of orcs with an airbrush and also get the camera in the right position because it can't be here. It's got to be, it's got to be uh, over there where the airbrush booth is. If you've ever seen my, the layout of my desk, you, you kind of know. I have to move the airbrush around, move the camera around to, to record airbrushing. Um, so yeah, that's it. I have Zarbag Skits, The Eyes of the Nine, and the card pack that's coming out on Saturday on pre-order. So I should be able to get unboxing videos for those up on the Saturday at some point. It all depends when the mailman arrives, really. And those will be, yeah, unboxings. I probably won't go over every card individually out of the set because that seems um, boring to me. I'm not interested in that bit. But I will try and get the models at the very least push fit together so that you can see them all assembled and on camera. And who knows, if you're lucky, I may even do little 360 videos of each push fit model assembled so that you can see them in nice high definition, uh, decent lighting, rather than me just wobbling them about in front of a camera. So, you know, trying to up my production levels a little bit on those unboxings. So we'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, they should be arriving on Saturday. Unboxing for that. And then, who knows when the rest of October is going to happen. I've got a post up on my Patreon um, describing my planned schedule for o October. Um, it's a public post, anyone can read it. And the, the short version is, I don't know, Games Workshop hasn't actually put any pre-orders up for any Orc stuff, and probably won't until, what, the 20th? Um, at this point, so... At best, Speed Freaks pre-order on the 20th. I'll get it on the 27th, like everyone else. Probably won't actually have a buggy tutorial up until November, which isn't October at all. But whatever. Okay, Games Workshop. Sure, October, yeah. Everyone's bitter about that, that collects orcs. We were hoping for a whole month of orc releases, but no, no one, one week's probably all we're going to get. Anyway, I'm not better. I am better. That's it. Ramble over. Um, please comment below if you want to comment on things. That's what comments for. Comment below with um, the kind of things you'd like to see me paint in the future. And tell me what you're painting as well. I'm always interested. Yeah, send also at me on social medias with your pictures of your stuff and I will like them and possibly even uh, retweet them if uh, the social media platform supports such kind of actions. Instagram doesn't. Facebook does. Um, and yeah, all that good stuff. So yeah, you can subscribe there. There's my Patreon. Go check it out, please. It really, really helps the channel. There's a video you can watch over there, and my social medias where you can send me pictures and you know cool stuff there. And uh, that's it. Bye-bye.